Hello everybody, another episode of uh, Shop Spotlight. Today we have a 93 Supra. 94. 94, sorry, I always get these wrong. <laughs> and today this is Ben. Ben, tell us a little bit about your car. So this car uh, I bought in 1999. It was the first car I bought with my own money after I paid off all my school loans. And so it was a big, uh, big deal for me. I worked hard. And so this was a gift to myself after I paid off all the school loans. The month after I paid off my school loans, so back in April of 1999. You're, you're dating yourself. I am. I am. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm an old man. But uh, this was my first car that I ever bought with my own money. And uh, it's been in the family ever since. The, uh, and every time I got married, I thought, oh, okay, should we keep the car? She said, yeah. And then we started having kids. And with every kid, we would ask ourselves, do we keep the car? And the kids would say, yes, keep the car. And so it became an incentive for uh, the kids to do well in school because every time they brought home good grades, we go for a cruise oh, very in nice. a car. So was the car original when you bought it? It was stock and it was a stock automatic and it's still an automatic, but uh, it, I, took a, I took a trip down to Texas back in 2013 with this car. We towed it to a, a little event called TX2K. And over there, I realized that the stock motor and uh, 18 pounds of boost was not enough. I dynoed the car at 380 to the wheels back then. And I, it, it, just to even be able to run with those guys, we had to have 800 horsepower. So I knew I needed to do something drastic. So that summer I came back and I made a plan to pull the engine, transmission, uh, everything out of the car in my garage with the family and my neighbors helping and then it took uh, seven years to put it all back together to what we have today uh, which is about uh, eight, 775 to the wheels dyno running E85 at 26 pounds of boost yeah so that's about 900 at the crank nice yeah so what all did you do to the motor uh, it's got a Brian Crower 3.4 liter stroker kit it's running E85 uh, with a Pro EFI ECU. Uh, it's got 1200 cc injectors, uh, a lot of sound performance parts, uh, sound performance out of Bensonville. I've been their customer for over 20 years and uh, they took really good care of me and this car. And we have all the best sound performance parts in there. The engine bay is absolutely beautiful in this car and uh, you'll, you'll see it in the video. Yeah, pro yeah, shout out to Jen over at Sound Performance because I'm an old school guy, I like chrome and all that kind of stuff, and she's like, no, don't do chrome. <laughs> so I have to give a, a lot of thanks to Jen at Sound Performance for the color scheme, uh, which was, I basically kept it uh, silver, red, and black. That's really all it is. And we, we've had the uh, old school drag race guy uh, while the car was here, and typically those type of guys don't like this kind of car. Uh, you know, they like to go fast, Camaros, Chevelles, and this guy, he said this car was done up really, really nice. I can drive this car. It's not overdone. It's a really nice car. So, well, thanks to you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, it's actually built more for road racing. I have a full KW suspension. Um, I got the R triple eights uh, all around. Um, all new brakes. I had the brakes well redone. Uh, CCW wheels. Uh, they were refinished at uh, Crown Customs, also out of Bensonville. Um, what else did I do? Uh, I, oh, I gutted the interior. I did the full interior. All new leather. New carpet. Uh, the gauges were redone, uh, LED lighting. So yeah, just really tastefully done. Yes. You know, nothing too crazy. And really the last thing left to do is a full uh, respray of the whole car. You know, strip it down and paint it uh, down the road. But, so uh, you told me a story of uh, this car saving your life a couple times. Yeah, so this car uh, was in two, two accidents. Uh, not, neither one my fault. Uh, the first one, uh, a truck uh, hit me on the back, a box truck. We were doing 10 miles an hour on the Dan Ryan. He couldn't see me or something, slammed right into me. Took out the whole rear end. Uh, no frame damage, so we were able to rebuild the car. No, no problem there. And I suffered some whiplash from that because, you know, 20,000 pound truck versus a 3,000 pound car, you're, you're gonna get hit with some whiplash. Absolutely. Yeah, so that was back in, uh, Gosh, the summer of 99, actually, a few months after I bought this car. Wow. So that was really sad. I was really sad. I thought I would get rid of the car, but my parents said, no, don't get rid of the car. 
So, so yeah, so it's been in the family for a long yeah, time. Yeah, everybody's been passionate about this Exactly, one. yeah, because you don't see it that much anymore. No, no. And then the other collision was, uh, I'm wait, I was waiting to take a left turn, standing still, and uh, a lady in a Honda Civic comes barreling, trying to take a right turn into the road I was in, and she skidded and smashed into the left side of the car. So the whole front wheel, all of that went all dented in. The car literally lurched about five feet over to the right. And so again, uh, no frame damage and sound performance. They actually fought for me with the insurance companies to get only OEM parts back onto this car. So they had it done right. And, uh, and then of course we dialed it in and everything's been running fine since then. Very nice. Well, we did our platinum package detail on here. We actually did a little bit uh, more in depth paint correction with it, getting rid of them, uh, imperfections in the paint, uh, getting this car the best we could get it. It has 112,000 miles on it, is that correct? That's right. Um, and we went through the interior and the engine bay, and Ben, thank you so much for uh, trusting us with your car and bringing it in. Yeah, absolutely. All thank right. you. Appreciate it. Thank you so much.